welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is officially October and you all know what that means. Spooky, scary, fun nails. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. A few nights ago, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted this nail that I created. I was up in the middle of the night, could not fall asleep. So I decided to grab my stuff and start creating. So that's what I ended up doing. And this is what I created. Now, I didn't realize how creepy this thing was until after I had some sleep and woke up and re, you know, re looked at it. And oh my God, I, yeah, definitely needs help. Like, dude, get your eye checked. It is bleeding. I don't know why I use so much, like, blood like that. Like, well, there was definitely some flaws on this that I think that I could do better at. Because when I created this, it was like 2 in the morning. So, and I was already up till from like 6 o'clock that following morning. So, yeah. But it was fun. It was really fun and a really good experience. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'm hoping I can make it look a little bit better and not so, like, oh my god, um... Yeah, I don't know. That, that eyeball got butchered. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get everything that we would need. And I will be right back. First thing that you're going to need, obviously, is gel polish. You can use any type of gel polish that you want. You do not have to have these brands or anything that I am using today. It could be whatever you have. It should work. Um, so, I grabbed these two right here are for the base. And that's why it pretty much it creates that more of that flesh look. So that's why I chose these two. And pretty much I just matched them together. Does that make sense? Just to give off. Because uh, this is a little bit too light. And this is a little bit sheer. So I put them together. Does that make sense? So anyways, yeah. So I'm going to be using these two. And everything that I mention, I will try to link, uh, leave in the description box for you guys. So we're going to be using those for the flesh. But you can use whatever you want. Um. You're going to need white gel paint or whatever you have, gel polish. It could be anything. Um, I'm using this because, I mean, I have it. I need to use it. So this is uh, for Model 1. It's their white gel liner. And we're going to be, you're going to need that for the outer portion of the eye. And then um, a red of your choice. This is the only red I really own. So you're going to need a red to, you know, mimic the blood next thing you're going to need is some gel paints um so i grabbed these these are from madam glam and you can use my code bougie bougie nails underscore 30 or is it bougie oh my lord <laughs> i'll just put it on the screen here it's right there and you can always find it in my link tree but you can save yourself 30 percent on their website if you're not a member um Anyways, I got their white, their black, and their silver chrome gel paints. That's going to help with the details and all that. So, you're going to need that right there. It's just, they're just a little bit thicker than gel polish. Sometimes gel polish can be a little bit too thin and it wants to bleed. Especially if you're going into really fine, tiny detail work. Um, it's just easier to control it with a thicker gel than it is with gel polish. The next thing you're going to need is some poly gel, and this is what I have that's closest to matching the gel polish, and this is what's going to create the eyelids, which is this right here, and some of the um, cuts and abrasions uh, above it. So you're going to need that with a, a poly gel brush or any brush that you that will work with this poly gel. And then also you're going to need some type of, if you don't, this is Votino's 3D Jelly. If you don't have this, you can obviously use a clear hard gel or IBD gel or anything like that. As long as it's clear and when you cure it, it has that dome effect. Um, so that's what we're going to be using as well. And you'll see once we get into it. And then lastly, this is pigment powder. If you have something that already has a glow in the dark pigment in it, whether it's going dark gel polish or, um, or anything, basically, um, you, you're welcome to use that. I have a bunch of this from a long time ago when I was into resin art. 
and I need an excuse to use it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be mixing this in with some gel polish, and that's what uh, helps this eye glow in the dark. It's really cool. Okay, so I think I've already went through all the stuff that you're going to need to create this besides uh, the base or the top coat of your choice. It could be matte, it could be glossy, whatever you decide. Um, and then, of course, you need your light. And I've got my curing light. That way it's at hand and I can flash cure when I need to. So, let's get on with it. I think I've talked enough. Uh, if you enjoyed this today's video, please be, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Make sure you look out for my link tree if you're interested in any discount codes I may have for any type of uh, products. I will have these also listed in the description box. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I hope this turns out. God, I'm praying this turns out right. I'll see you um, at the end.